Hello. Welcome to this brief overview of the Helios Virtual Cockpit System for DCS World to explain its basic operation. There are two parts to Helios, the Profile Editor and the Control Center. First we'll look at the Profile Editor, where virtual cockpits are built. In the Profile Editor, we can lay out all of the visual components needed for our cockpit, and then these virtual components are bound to an interface so that they can communicate with DCS World. The most capable of these interfaces are the ones that are designed for a particular aircraft. However, there are other interfaces for the keyboard and human interaction devices. Once the Interfaces Setup DCS button is pressed, an exports.lua is created, and this is used by DCS World to communicate with Helios. When you save the profile, a .hpf file is created in your My Documents directory. You now have your exports.lua that DCS uses, and you have a cockpit profile for Helios. So the next step is to start DCS World and start the Helios Control Center. You select the profile you just created and then press start. This runs your virtual cockpit, which listens to the UDP data stream that the exports.lua is sending once it queries the state of gauges, switches and indicators, etc. in DCS. We'll now expand a little on how Helios virtual cockpits are used in the real world. We'll use the example of multifunction displays. DCS world can be configured to render certain devices outside of the DCS screen in two dimensions, by defining viewports in monitor configuration Lua scripts. Helios is not involved in this activity, but the virtual cockpits can benefit from viewports. For some devices, additional code needs to be added to DCS program folders to allow them to have viewports created and rendered. These devices are usually rendered onto a virtual cockpit screen in positions where there is a cutout in the virtual cockpit display. So when control center starts, the rendered devices show into the cockpit. The use of a UDP connection between the exports.lua file and the control center means that the Helios virtual cockpit can run on a different computer from DCS World. Helios copes with this easily, although the keyboard interface cannot be used to communicate with DCS World. Viewports need some additional assistance to work with a remote virtual cockpit. There may be other solutions, however, Iris, part of the Hotkeys project, can be used to screen scrape only the portions of the computer one's display which show the exported viewports and send them over the network to be rendered on the machine running the remote virtual cockpit. This solution still requires the viewports to be rendered on computer one. However, this can be done in a more space and memory efficient manner and ghost monitors can also work well in this scenario. This means that when the control center is started, the MFDs again show through and appear to be part of the virtual cockpit. This concludes our brief look at the Helios Virtual Cockpit System for DCS World. If you found this useful, please hit like, or if you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Either way, I wish you pleasant virtual flights in the DCS world. Thanks for watching.